Not Scottish enough? What do you mean I'm not Scottish enough? I'll be putting that right on today's video right after this. Hello folks, how are you doing? And welcome to today's episode of the vlog. My name is Sean and I'm a vlogger from Edinburgh in Scotland. That's right, I actually am Scottish. I had a lot of comments over the last week or two from people saying, how can I be Scottish? Because you guys can understand me. People you see on TV who are Scottish, for example, that you watch, you can't even understand a bloody word they're saying. This is quite an interesting topic. I thought I'd put it right in today's vlog because I'm actually gonna prove I'm Scottish. I'm gonna take some how Scottish are you quizzes right here on today's episode. But first of all, I just wanna say welcome to everybody. Thank you so much for joining in. It is great to have you here. And if you're new, please don't forget to hit the red subscribe button in the corner. Right here on this channel, I talk all about the Scottish culture, how that fits in around the world with other countries, with Scottish heritage and all that kind of stuff. And as well as some awesome adventures. And guys, listen, something extra for you tonight, because right after this video is aired, I'm gonna be doing an unboxing live on my second channel. I don't know if you even knew that I had a second channel, but I've got a second channel. The link will be in the top line of the comments down below to that live stream. You're not gonna wanna miss it. Right, okay, today's video, I've been speaking to a lot of people over the last couple of weeks on this channel, comments, Instagram and Twitter and all that kind of stuff. Lots of awesome conversations happening about Scottish culture and how that fits in around the world. And it's been great, I absolutely love this. But one of the things you guys say is, how come you can understand me? Because most Scottish people you can't understand. And to be honest with you, there are a few reasons for that, okay? First of all, number one, I live in Edinburgh, okay? In Edinburgh, we tend to have a soft accent anyway. Capital city of Scotland here in Edinburgh, we're just a little bit posher. That's not always true, but listen, we do speak a bit softer here in Edinburgh. Second of all, I lived in London for almost five years. Granted, this was quite a few years ago now, but I did. I was working in London and I guess my accent gradually got softer. And I think that my accent got softer, but not necessarily because of that. But what happened when I was down in London is I had to soften my accent. I had to become more refined because otherwise, People who I used to work with, for example, just couldn't understand me. So I had to do something. And also having this YouTube channel, speaking to you guys around the world, like I know that I need to be understood. So there's no point me speaking to you guys with the strongest of Scottish accents. So that's that. But listen, I want to prove myself because I am Scottish, right? <laughs> and there are a number of really funny quizzes online that I can take to settle it once and for all, okay? I'm actually going to do two of them. One of them will be a bit more humorous and jokey. The next one will be a wee bit more serious. So let's get started with this. Oh, this is going to be so easy. The World Cup is on. This is obviously an old quiz, right? The World Cup, football, we're talking soccer. Scotland didn't qualify, again. Yeah, that's right, we never qualify, not for many years. But I do remember the golden days when we did qualify for a couple of things. Who do you support? Whoever's playing against England? Come on, North Korea! There is only one answer to that to any Scottish person. Anyone but England. Whoever's playing against England. Number two, it's time for breakfast, but what do you fancy? Pint of tenants in a fight? I know as a Scottish person which answer I should click to this, right? It should definitely be the Tunnets Tea Cake, some porridge and the Daily Record, right? But I'm not going to click on that because, you know, if I've got the choice in the matter, to be honest with you, I generally like to have a full breakfast. But this quiz is actually wrong here. Like, let me just point this out. You've got the full English breakfast, but we also have a full Scottish breakfast. And generally the difference is that we actually include haggis in our breakfast. So I'm going to click full English breakfast here, knowing that they're wrong. Saturday night. Time for fun, but what do we get up to? I'm going to say go to Kelly because Listen, Kayleys are just so much fun. You're late for an important meeting, right? But as you dash past your favorite statue of the Duke of Wellington, you notice that it doesn't have a traffic cone on its head. What do you do? I would drop everything and put that cone back where it belongs, on the head of Wellington. It's a toasty 13 degrees Celsius outside. Summer in Scotland, what do you do? I know what the answer that they're looking for here, right? It's take your top off, because that's generally what most Scottish people do when it is about 12, 13 degrees Celsius, okay? But I am not like that. I have lived in warmer climates before. I don't particularly love cold. I like freezing cold with snow and stuff. I love that. But like day-to-day -day cold, I don't like, okay? The type of cold where it's just wet and rainy. And even when it's like 13 degrees, I still feel cold, so I tend to put a jumper on. But I'm gonna answer, take my top off. You're going on a camping holiday, but what do you pack? Six bottles of military grade midge repellent, two mosquito nets, and a crate of tenants. You're at a restaurant and the waiter asks you which vegetables you want with your main meal. What do you say? Chips with salt and sauce. Has to be every single time. Your favourite comedy programme? I'm going to say chewing the fat. You're hosting a cocktail party, but what drinks do you buy? I'm a classy type of guy. There's only one answer for this. The whiskey. You're at the Scotland and England match and the flower of Scotland comes on. What do you do? <laughs> if you do anything else other than this, like, you're really not Scottish at all. If you make a toast at the start of a meal, right? What do you do? 
I can tell you what you definitely don't do. You definitely don't say God save the Queen. So that quiz doesn't even tell you the answers of how Scottish you are. It just lets you put in your choices and that's it basically. It's a bit daft. But here's one from the Scotsman, right? Bit of a more serious website. Eh, uh, which one of these is false? I'm gonna have to say haggis ice cream because even if that is true, it shouldn't be. How many people in the world know the secret recipe for iron brew? I think it's two. Apparently it's three. How old is the oldest bottle of whiskey in the world? I'm gonna say 101 year old. 151 years old. I'm doing right. I've got every single one of these wrong. You're lucky, wee man. What is the official national animal of Scotland? It's easy as a unicorn. Everybody knows that, surely. Did you know that? You should know that. Where was a big, big glass throwing scene in Transport and filmed? I think it was McSorley's. It was actually Crosslands in Glasgow. Got that wrong as well. Choose a career. Choose a family. How many islands does Scotland have in total? I'm not going to blow and know that, but I'm going to say the highest one, 790. That's right, because it's obvious. What does the expression, money a mickle, max a muckle? I've no idea. I'm going to guess. Now, when was the last time Scotland's men's football team qualified for a major tournament? I drove down this morning for the north of Scotland with no ticket. Yeah. Yeah. Penalty and Scotland were level. France 98. Number 10, what percentage of Scottish people have ginger hair? I'm going to say the highest. 28. It's wrong. Apparently it's only 13%. Wow. I bet there's actually other places in the world that have a higher percentage of ginger hair. Number 11, which Scottish hero was nicknamed Braveheart? This is a trick question, right? A lot of you guys are going to say William Wallace because of Braveheart, but it's actually wrong. It is Robert the Bruce. Look that up if you don't believe me. Who's Scottish Rugby's record point scorer? I have no idea, I don't watch rugby at all. No interest. Is it Chris Patterson? It is Chris Patterson. Like, he's a famous name of rugby in Scotland, so even if you don't know rugby, you should know that. What is the tallest building in Scotland? I have no idea. The Glasgow Tower apparently is the tallest building in Scotland at 127 meters. Not very high. What does the word gallus mean? I'm gonna say cocky. Who does groundskeeper Willie blame for ruining Scotland? Obviously, it's going to be in English, right? I call this a sucker riot. Come on, boys. Let's take him to school. What? The Scots? I don't remember that. Are you Scottish? I got six right. Maybe he's I, maybe he's not. Pretty poor showing, and this shows nothing, really. You are crap. Not conclusive. I'm going to put the links to those quizzes down below so you can have a wee bit of fun as well, though. Didn't do anything to convince you guys that I'm actually Scottish. <sighs> what a poor show. Nonetheless, I promise you, I'm actually Scottish. I'm right here in Edinburgh, where I was born and grew up. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. I want to give a big shout out to these awesome people down below who support my content on YouTube. Do not forget to join me for the live stream after this. And until the next adventure, I hope you have a good night, morning, evening, afternoon, or whatever time of day it is, wherever you are in the world. Take care.